You're the third guy I send after him. What's the name of the target? Yank these! Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to my channel, my name is Yankees, and today I got fir the first mission in the Brink campaign. Uh, I'm gonna do this first mission on the Resistance side. Um, I don't know if I guys, if I told you guys, but uh, you do the campaign from both sides if you guys see that I picked from the Resistance, but you can also have from the Security side. Um, it's basically, every mission is similar. The only difference is that you'll be on one side, and then if you do on the security side, you'll be on the other side. So, for instance, on the resistance, you'll be defending, and when you're um, the security, you'll be planting, uh, escort, etc., etc. Um, it's actually pretty cool. It expands the campaign. It makes it longer, um, and it gives you more variety to play. You don't have to keep doing the same thing, um, especially at the PS centers now. Um, hold on. I'll be quiet so you guys can uh, listen to this little uh, story mode real quick. You gotta hear this guy brainwash his teammates. Amazing. An hour ago, I was making my kids breakfast. Then I get the call and get given this gun. And now... Was the movement just about spray painting slogans for you? No, it's just kind of sudden. <laughs> Do you think this day hasn't been coming for years? Chen's tried everything to avoid this. We've no options left. Look, any moment now, Mako and his thugs will pour in here. They won't be asking questions. Are you ready to use these, brothers? I am ready. Then let's do this. Let's go, bro. Uh, yeah. So, um, it has variety. It has both sides. You can, uh, you don't have to worry about doing the same thing. Also, uh, from playing a few missions, I feel like the campaign is similar to a multiplayer in that, uh, you have a full team against another team. You have respawns. And if you guys see, I put up the scoreboard. There is no KD in this game, so everything is based on points. You see me in second place. Uh, you can get points by reviving teammates if you're a medic, um, uh, replenishing ammo if you're um, if you're a soldier, you know, etc. etc. Playing the objective, obviously getting kills. Um, you get more points by reviving um, and giving ammo than you do by getting kills. Um, also by defending teammates, you know. Also here, when the guys are down, it's best if you hit them because you get 20. Uh, XP plus 20 XP if you shoot them you get about maybe 10 XP or 5 XP um, So your best bet is to try to get as close as you can and hit them uh, you could uh, slide uh, this dolphin dive in this game um, It's not really dolphin dive. It's like uh, s Dolphin slide uh, You slide on your knee, so uh, that's pretty cool You could do that and shoot and you could also do that in, um, in uh, Melee, so that's pretty cool uh, the melee system in this game um, when you have the assault rifle, you're meleeing uh, with the assault rifle, so you're hitting. Um, you can hit your opponents with your weapon. Uh, if you have the pistol out, um, and I figured this out on a side uh, side mission, when you have your pistol out, you can knife. Um, from what I saw, it's a one one knife kill. I don't know if online it'll be a one knife one knife kill. So uh, don't uh, don't uh, hitting this guy. Don't um don't hold me to that one. So you guys gotta wait till you get online. Um, obviously I have PS3, so um this is what I have um uh, as far as information. Um, I don't have Xbox, so I don't haven't gotten online yet. And uh, what else can I talk about? See right there, that was the 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 dolphin slide. I'm gonna call it the dolphin slide. <laughs> and uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, uh, I'm here. I'm using. It looks like the FAMAS to me. Uh, but it, I don't think it's the Famas. It's a, it's a three shot. It's a three shot burst. I thought it was gonna be good, but uh, it's a so so weapon. Um, weapons. Uh, weapons in this game you have a lot depending on what body type you use. So for instance, if you have this the lightweight, then you have a sh smaller amount. If you have the heavy, I think you have access to all the guns. And if you're medium, you have a uh, a smaller selection from the heavy and a bigger selection from the light if that makes any sense um, some of the guns are locked and most of the all the attachments will be locked now a special thing about this game is you don't unlock the attachments by leveling up and getting XP you actually unlock the attachments by playing a side mission and uh, there's actually four side missions um, and the four side missions uh, if I remember correctly, I'll do a video on it. Um, 
every time you complete them, you have it's three parts to each mission. So uh, for the first one, you have three. Second one, three. Um, depending on how fast you finish these missions and uh, how correctly you finish them. See me meleeing here real quick. Then I hit on my melee, melee, and then hit. Then get uh, get the final kill right here. See this guy right here. See those twenty points, and it has your score. Um, uh, so yeah, so as depending on how fast you finish them and how correctly you finish them, uh, you unlock uh, different attachments. So uh, this is not leveling up. You have to play those objectives, those the little side missions, so you can be able to unlock silencer, jewelry mags, you know, etc., etc., which is uh, pretty cool. Also in the camp, also with that, you can actually level up by playing those little side missions, and they're called challenges. Um, you could actually level up in that and unlock stuff for here for the campaign, which is pretty cool. You also unlock by doing those missions, you unlock for both um, the resistance and the security, so it's pretty cool. Um, the campaign, uh, the campaign is broken up in um, into about three sub missions, but you really all you have to really do is win one mission out of the three submissions and you'll pass the the mission understand so basically right here for instance i'm defending this uh this doorway so i have to uh protect this door from getting uh destroyed by the security um if they happen to blow it up um then it'll go into escort i believe and i'll have another opportunity now if they destroy if they destroy this wall and uh escort their uh a teammate successful to the other side of the map then I'll lose the mission and restart now if I lose this round right and win the next one I win the mission understand so the game's pretty cool it gives you an opportunity to fail and succeed which is a uh, pretty rewarding it's not like a regular campaign that you have one character uh, story and if you die you gotta restart again and here oh, I almost uh, regenerate it's not like uh, you have one character and um, you die and you gotta restart the whole thing. It's more like multiplayer, which I really like that. And supposedly the creators uh, incorporated this. So when, uh, for instance, if you're online and you're signed in, and a team, a teammate of yours in front of you sees you online, he could join your lobby and play the campaign with you. Like if it was, uh, you know, online and from and from the campaign made from the campaign mode. Supposedly you could actually switch and go online with your friends, which is pretty cool. If you see me here, I'm trying to get. Points. Oh man, I just missed those guys. Um, reviving the medic, I think is uh, the medic and the soldier. I said were pretty cool. Uh, they're my favorite classes so far. Um, the medic, the soldier. Um, you can not only revive and replenish your teammates, you can also revive yourself. Uh, all you have to do is um, hold the L3 button. If you hold the L3 button, there's a, a meter. If you look on the top. Uh, left corner see the little uh, medic pack with a circle around it uh, you hold the L3 button until the circle uh, completely empties and you'll replenish yourself uh, with ammo or you'll, you'll, um, uh, you'll bring your life up so that's pretty cool um, also on the bottom left corner uh, you see there's the uh, like a little arm with strength that's adrenaline that's a perk uh, or well, an ability that uh, I bought um, that you'll be able to buy that I talked about in the in the customization so those are abilities so every time for instance when I revive a teammate or give him health he'll have a 10 second um, chance of um, of uh, withstanding uh, more damage than the normal which is pretty cool um, also if you guys look oh I end up oh wow I end up okay we end up actually losing this round so they actually you know, um, uh, blow up the, the doorway. So now you see, I get another opportunity at it. So this is escort. Yeah, this is escort. <clears throat> um, okay. The bottom, the bottom left corner. Uh, you guys see the circle? There's uh, there's like three or four bars that are white. Every time I replenish, um, I revive somebody or I revive myself. The bar goes down. Now, when it goes all the way down, uh, you can't replenish anymore. You can't do anything. You have to wait till it fills up again. So that's pretty cool. You, you, it's not infi infinite that you can, um, you know, revive people or whatever. So that's pretty cool. Um, see, see me arriving here. Also, the, like I said, the point system. The point system is very, very, very important. Keep that in mind. If you want to come out 
in uh, number one in the lobbies, you have to have to play the objective. This is not all for kills. Um, you get more points by playing the objective and robbing your teammates. Hold on, let me try to get this guy here. Come on, I got him. Hold on, let me see if I go kill his ass real quick. What are you doing? What are you doing? <clears throat> so yeah, so um, uh, you can't actually, you don't get nothing from, you get a little bit of points from getting kills, but the majority of the points come from reviving teammates, you know, um, playing the objective, etc., etc. Um, let me say one more thing. Also, um, the guns. I didn't really talk too much about the guns. Uh, this game has the ability, which is really cool, you can actually have up to four attachments for uh, the guns. So for instance, I have, I'm using the vector here and I have dual mags, a silencer, and a grip on it. So that's pretty cool. You can have up to four, so it's not like you're limited to one or two attachments. It gives, uh, it gives you the uh, ability to have more unique more uniqueness to your um, to your uh, to your weapons and all that cool stuff which is pretty cool and if you see here I just popped up the objective wheel and these are the different objectives the first objective if you see on the top which will be your main objective that's to defend to just to stop the escort and then you have uh, the bottom um, which is to find the command post the command post is is very important because for instance if I'm taking out uh, if I'm stopping them from, from you know escorting their teammate or whatever, what they'll do is uh, the enemy team what they'll do is try to um, grab your um, your command post. So just you will end up running back and forth trying to you know defend the command post and stop them from doing the objective. So you'll be running back and forth. The important thing with that is that if they take the command post and you don't have a, an ability to change your class or change your weapons, so always keep that in mind. Um, um, so always uh, defend your command post. You see me here, look. You see me get a few kills here, throw nades. Nades are really not that powerful for what I'm seeing. It's like a little, it's like a firecracker to me almost. I don't think they're uh, that, that strong. Um, and yeah, uh, this this match is uh, going to get too long, so I'm going to end up cutting, cutting it and doing a part two to this. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, the PSN, uh, like you guys know, is down, so please bear with me. I know uh, you guys are looking forward for the online, and I just hope I can, with this, at least give you some tips and tricks. Um, it's similar to online, like I said, and uh, I just hope you guys stick with me. I'm going to try to do it as best I can, as most entertaining I can, so you guys can, you know, have fun with this and uh, enjoy my gameplay. And I also try to make my commentaries as entertaining as possible and as informative as possible. And yeah, as always, my name is Yankees. I'm going to cut this and... Uh, continue a little bit do part two to this but i hope you guys enjoyed as always please rate comment subscribe if you haven't done so and i'm out peace